Um, so, so with designing the building, obviously, like there's amazing, cool stuff on the inside, but the exterior really stands out. And if you look at the pictures of it, you know, the overhang and everything, is there anything else that you kind of added to it that really stand out and, and make it make a difference, or, or just you know, when people driving by might see it and not even get inside, but they know what it stands for? Yeah. Um, so we really wanted to tie the exterior. Uh, of the building to the, the interior and the experience within. So we set up a couple things um, as you enter. One thing being a quote facing the historic Greenwood Black Wall Street across the street. Um, the quote is from James Baldwin and it, 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 it reads, not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it is faced. And we worked with um, the commission and they sent out a survey to the community. Yeah. And there were like three was, quotes for us to yeah, choose from, I there think. There were a couple of quotes to choose from and this is the one that, once again, it's about the community building this project and yeah, this was yeah. the one that was chosen, which I think is, is just the perfect uh, way to set up this experience of right. the exhibits on the interior. And it really, in just a few words, just says what the project's about. Yeah, that's exactly right. There's also one of my favorite exterior uh, features is there's a skylight right in front of the door and there's a cutout that you kind of don't see when you're walking up, mm -hmm. but it says yeah. 1921. So when you are walking to the, up on the sidewalk, it says 1921 right before you open the yeah. door. So it kind of sets it up you know, what you're about to walk into. Yeah. So we, yeah, this Oculus or skylight, yeah. whatever you want to call it, um, architecturally, but yeah, so the sun, we put the 1921, the, the date of the massacre, yeah. obviously, uh, on a, on a signage band at the very top and the sun hits it and projects the shadow across the entrance to the building, which is really cool to see mm -hmm. it trace through there throughout the day at different times. It's in different locations, but it's about this setting up this narrative and having the building, you know, yeah. interrelate with what's on the interior. And then when you step yeah. in, it's, um, I mean, it's beautiful. The scale of it is really, really nice. And yeah. we can go back to that in a second. But um, one of the first exhibits, there are actual railroad tracks on the ground that you have to step over. Mm -hmm. So symbolically really setting up what you're getting into. And then one more teaser is just that, so The Watchmen, I don't know if you saw that. It was on HBO. And it um, the very first episode had a really graphic scene from what it was probably like mm -hmm. in um, while the massacre was going on. And it was it's really intense. And, and that's really what started a lot of this attention mm -hmm. on, on this and in that show and I haven't seen this episode full disclosure but apparently they show that they have a museum later that mm -hmm. that shows what happened and there are holograms and so then of course everyone right away was like oh, there won't be holograms you know in this yeah. new place and there are holograms which is super super cool so um, that's Don't one of my give it away. I'm not giving it yeah. away I will yeah. not do that to yeah. local projects our partner but um, but I, and speaking of local projects Digitally yeah. interact with, it's with, with some super, people. super yeah. cool. And um, local projects, I know we said that that's who did the interior um, uh, exhibit design with us, but they, just to give you an example of how amazing the interior of this is, they did the 9-11 Museum. So they're world renowned for their exhibit design. So that was a really fun um, collaborative, collaborative process for us as well. So. And then the scale of the building in okay. general, there's a gigantic project happening behind it yeah. <laughs> that could have easily dwarfed it, but I'll let you talk about the design, Steve. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and that's part of the reason for the, you know, the big overhang. It's really just anchoring that corner. It's mm -hmm. such an important corner in the district. And it's really, like I mentioned earlier, just the perfect spot for this project. And the overhang really gives it the presence um, we wanted within that urban corridor that's beginning to be mm -hmm. set up with these taller buildings surrounding it. And I mean, it just sets up, uh, it, it welcomes you, like I said, to the district and it's a new gateway for Greenwood. And yeah, we're very, we're very proud of the design and we think we did a great job. And 
Um, I know you did a great job. <laughs> and we talked about the 1921 during the day. Yeah. But do you want to talk about the lights at night? Yeah. Because that's so an important feature. We can we can talk about some of the materiality here for a second. Um, the uh, the idea for the exterior design was really about resilience and vibrancy. Mm-hmm. Um, tying it back to the community, to the, you know, the entertainment district that was Black Wall Street, business district by day, entertainment by night. Mm-hmm. So there's this transformation really between, you know, just bright lights and neon signs and, you know, at nighttime. And yeah, um, yeah so we wanted the building to activate itself and do a similar um transition from day to night so you have this dynamic interplay of you know shadows during the daytime and illuminated from within at night and we used cast gfrc material and allowed us to create this pattern that basically captures light from the bottom of each panel and illuminates the entire facade internally and really becomes a beacon for this district and uh, yeah. it's pretty cool. It's going to be really. It hasn't fully been, you know, right. set up Turn, yet. Yeah. But we're we're tweaking it. And, Anxiously awaiting yeah, that first be, light up. It'll be really really yeah. cool. Yeah. So that's one of the big design, you know, elements on the facade. Um, and the use of brick was really brick, important. Brick was important to us um, historically. Those greenwood buildings were built brick by brick and. They have their own like unique character with how the windows are detailed and all the bandings and stuff. It's really cool when you go down there and see some yeah. of those buildings. Um, so we wanted to do something contemporary with that. So we we created this detail that has a more of a profile uh, brick that alternates in course and is is more of a contemporary um, application and pays a tribute to those buildings of the past.